on my last day in here in Hawaii and I just wanted to share with you all the souvenirs that we got. We love coming to Hawaii and we love taking something home with us to remember all the things that we did here and just kind of have a little piece of Hawaii with us back Seattle where we are from and I just wanted to share the things that I got. For the most part I remember where I got everything from and I will try to remember prices but if not just come and explore. We didn't buy anything that was super expensive this time and so everything that we got was very affordable. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you everything that we got. I've tried, written down the words to say it is time I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby. Okay, here is an overall spread. Now, just remember, this is just Jason and I on this trip. Our girls did not come with us, and we only got souvenirs for two of our four girls. And I'll sh I, I'm pretty sure we can start with those two things. <laughs> this is all they wanted. They just wanted a cute little stuffy. This was as close as we could get to a Squishmallow, and they kind of just picked those out via photos that we sent them. So those are the two gifts that we got for our girls. And actually, I did sneak a few little things for older girls. I got two little chapsticks, a little coconut lime one, and a mango one, and they just slide open like that. Little chapstick, it's kinda cute. So I got these for the teenagers, just as something extra. We asked our girls if they would rather have a sweatshirt, because that's easy to find, we know their style, or mula. And since they didn't come to Hawaii, they were like, we don't have the same feel of choosing a sweatshirt and coming home with it for the rainy months in September in Seattle. So they're like, we'll just take the cash. <laughs> we'll just take the cash. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's start with the food. We're only taking a few items of food home, but we always get these pineapple high chews. They are exclusive to ABC stores here in Hawaii. Sometimes you can find the pineapple flavor in a pack of high chews at Costco here in Hawaii, but for the most part, they're exclusive to ABC. So we always get a pack. This is like an 18 pack. There's a lot in here and they will just divide them up between the four of them. Then we found these chocolates at the Hana Gold store in On the Road to Hana. And I'm gonna give one of these to my friend and probably one of these to our employees and then we've already eaten this one. So <laughs> that one's just for us. Then our room came with these uh, macadamia nuts and we don't really like them, so we'll give those to someone as well. And then Jason got these Hawaii fruit pastes for cheese and crackers for our employees. And we just got these at some little boutique. I'm not really sure where we got these ones from, but that was kind of a nice little souvenir to get for our employees. Then back here we got these little candied pineapples or dried pineapples. We had another bag that we had opened up, but we got ants in it. So this was supposed to be our snack while we were here, but now I don't dare open this one. So we're just gonna leave it sealed up until we get home. All right, moving over. This is a Kai Aloha store. That's what the store looks like. That's the store brand. And I found the cutest towel. Here, I'll show you. Well, maybe I'm not gonna unwrap it. <laughs> it's a really big towel. You kind of get the idea. It says Aloha Maui on it, I think that's what it says. Um, but it's really big and it's like that wick away material. That, oh, in the back side, you can kind of see there's a second pattern on the back side. And I just love it. It has like rainbow colors to it and the palm trees. Anyway, this is a fun towel to get and this is mine, so I don't have to share this one. Okay, then working around to the other t-shirts, I found this sweatshirt yesterday, just right in Lahaina. Um, again, it's just one of those, you know, but regular boutiques for clothing. But I finally found one and I didn't have to get the largest size they had. I just loved that print on the front of it. And then it is lightweight. It's not full sweatshirt material. It's just t-shirt material, but it has a hoodie. And I like that in Seattle because you run into Target and come out and it's a torrential downpour. Just want to be able to pull the hoodie on and cover up just a little bit. And I like the style of a hoodie. At the Honolulu Surf Shop, Jason got this t-shirt. You've seen him wear that throughout this trip. Has a little Hawaii Island logo up there. He likes things to be gray and blue and black. <laughs> you can't kind of tell. He also got this sport shirt. And I think this one actually was like from the ABC store. And he's already worn that to work out in. And then not Hawaii related, but he found this polo at Costco and it was only $7. So he just picked that one up for work. 
and then he got this at the tattoo place if you haven't seen that video I got a tattoo and he thought it would be fun if he had a t-shirt that you know said skin factory tattoo on it and people ask him if he got a t tattoo and he gets to say no my wife did so that's why he got the tattoo t-shirt he also picked up something fun this is an air freshener for his car it, this is kind of a joke the last time we got this um, for our one of our friends so he just kind of liked the smell of it and the fun of it so I don't know Mr. Zog's sex wax at all, but it was just kind of a funny thing that he wanted to pick up. Okay, now you'll see this little jar. I got this at the Dole Whip store, and I had Dole Whip in it, if you have seen that vlog. Um, but you get the cup with it, and it was 20 bucks, and then $5 for Dole to be added to it. Um, so I just wanted, I've always wanted these. I've seen them before and I never wanted, I never got one. And so now I'm just getting one. I think it'll be fun. And inside here, I have collected all of these pins. All right, so these pins, I just love to collect them and I don't have any of these guys. I love this little drink one. It's kind of like a little pina colada. I know it's probably like something else with it being blue and whatnot, but um, I just love that one. And a cute little hula girl with a ukulele. And this one is a shave ice. I think I have this one, um, but sometimes I hang these on our travel wall upstairs in our house. But I also have a new favorite spot in my car that I'm collecting these and I just, they make me happy. So if you can find something that makes you happy, then get it. And last but not least, from the Coco Nene store, right here, this is my all time favorite store, the Coco Nene. It is right in downtown Lahaina and they also have one in Kauai. Not sure about Oahu, but I know that they have one in Kauai. And I have gotten a lot of stuff from that store. This is a little luggage tag, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a luggage tag, but I'm going to use it as a little dangly in my car. And it'll kind of go along with where I put all of these little pins. I probably have too much going on there, so we'll see if I end up putting it there but I love it anyway. And last up is this item from Coco Nene and it is an Ohana sled for Christmas. You guys, it's an ornament and I've had a hard time trying to find Christmas ornaments that are the right color of red that we use because usually it's a brighter color of red. Now, this is a sled and I'm not gonna open these up but it's hard for you to see these. They're little gingerbread girls, not gingerbread men. They're little girls and they're ornaments and you just take them and you kind of loop them through this little hole here on the sleigh and so all the little girls kind of dangle down from the sled. We had to get five of them. One of them is actually a kitty cat. If you can kind of tell the shape right there. If we got five of them, then this whole hanger was free. So if we get a cat, then the cat will go maybe on this little tail of the sled, but if not, we're gonna hide the, the cat <laughs> until we get it. All right, you guys, that is it. And I'm a sweaty, hot, humid mess, and I've gotta go pack all this stuff into my suitcase, because we're going home in like an hour. <laughs> That's how much we're cutting this. But I also wanted to be outside and enjoy the breeze here one more time, so hopefully you can hear me. It's a little windy this morning, but thank you for joining us. If you have not actually checked out our Hawaii videos yet, we just got done with seven days here in Maui, but we have whole playlists of multiple trips that we've taken both with us just as a couple but also with our girls we have four girls and they're some of my all-time favorite videos so if you have not found those videos click the links down below or go ahead and go and discover my channel because we love Hawaii and want to share all of that with you so let us know down below if you have come to Hawaii and if any of these souvenirs are enticing to you and you want to come here and get them yourself when you're during your next trip um, I love to share that kind of stuff with you. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.